All right, my name is uh, Pierre Langlois. I'm a teacher here at Ecole de Drive in Saint-Georges. Here at the uh, Ecole de Drive, I teach grades five and six. Uh, we, we had a brainstorm with uh, other teachers when we started the project, and uh, I really didn't know where I wanted to go, and my, my main idea is that I found that the students lack vocabulary in general at the, the elementary level. So I wanted, I wanted them to learn vocabulary that is useful in their everyday lives. So that's where I started. And uh, Sandra mentioned the Ozobots, and then the, the idea just popped in my mind that uh, Ozobots could be used on a map, and maps are good for giving directions, so everything just fell into, into place afterwards. Well, I titled this project Run My Errands because the, um, the starting point of this project is that you have a robot and you need to program it to run errands for you so you don't need to go run errands yourself. And uh, I decided on this topic because I figured I could teach the places around town and how to give directions to the students. And it's a subject that is really down to earth, you know, everyday problems, things that they can use uh, very easily in an English environment. But, the robot turns left. After they really understood the vocabulary for the places, we went on with the vocabulary for directions and we had activities to uh, practice using this vocabulary, giving and understanding directions where students had an incomplete map of a city and they had to complete the places by asking directions to their partners who had the, the, the counterpart uh, to their map. Um, afterwards, we, uh, I, we put the focus on learning how to code the robots we have, there are lots of resources avail available on the Ozobot website to learn how to code. And I used those resources to get the students acquainted with how the robots work and how the color codes work. And once I felt that they were comfortable enough, uh, then it was uh, up to them to uh, complete the final task, which was uh, drawing their map writing their itinerary and then drawing the codes on the map so that the robot would follow the, the itinerary that they wrote. It's also, uh, it's also good that when they have a problem with the robot, I go and help them out, but I help them out in English. So we use the language, I point to the, the, the things in their booklets, and we use English to solve their uh, technological problems. So the, the focus not, is not only on language but also on solving a, a problem that is relevant to them. I, I remember the first class that I had the Ozobots on the desk, the students were really, really excited. They were really into it and even the first time that they started the, the, the robot and it just followed the black line, we could see sparkles in their eyes. <laughs> they were like, yes, I did it! And uh, it, it was uh, it was really really helpful helpful for motivation. They wanted their map, their itinerary, and their everything they did. They wanted it to work with the robot. And some of them even said, "Oh, I'm gonna ask for that for, that for Christmas uh, because they they enjoyed it so much." <laughs>